This is a really exciting time for MDA and the families that MDA serves. This is the first treatment that's being a, a, approved by FDA for therapy for Duchenne dystrophy. That's a great thing and it's great for the families. They're going to be able to have a drug that's going to change the course of this disease. It was work supported by MDA many, many years ago, starting in the 1990s. We've supported it throughout the years. It means great things to the families and it means great things to me. I'm extremely excited that the FDA has chosen to approve the Teplerson for use in boys with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. I've been taking care of boys with Duchenne muscular dystrophy for a long time and this is the first time I have a specific therapy to offer some of them. Approval of a Teplerson is not only a big win for the Duchenne community but also for the other rare diseases which are in MDA's programs. Why is this? First, companies will see the success and it will spur more companies to be working in this area. The more companies you have working on these diseases, the more likely that there will be enhanced therapeutic options in the pipeline for our families. In addition, this approval sends a positive message to investors. This increases the amount of venture capital funding that's available for companies to work on these diseases. Finally, this will inspire scientists to develop further innovative therapies for DMD and other muscle diseases in MDA's portfolio. It's something that we've watched and, you know, like I said, we've hoped for and prayed for and seen it develop over the last seven years or so. Um, to have it all come to where it has been and see approval just means so much. And I would just say for other people that are in similar situations where they're waiting on a uh, drug for their disease or for a loved one, um, don't give up hope. Uh, they're going to come through and, and MDA does so much to uh, advance these medicines that we need. Keep on believing, it's going to happen. This gives us a prototype, an idea of an approach to treating that will be able to be uh, modified so that we can treat a large number of boys with Duchenne with this type of an approach. This is a watershed moment and we're going to have so many clinicians coming up to us with other diseases, can we treat other diseases? So it's not just for Duchenne, it's for other conditions. And we've got, done a lot of work already on spinal muscular atrophy, cystic fibrosis, adult onset Pompey's disease, phasioscapio humeral. I mean, it's, um, it, it, it's an enormous list. I mean, most of our genes undergo splicing and a substantial number of uh, mutations that cause inherited disease a splicing abnormality. So we're actually actively looking to try and identify as many as possible to come up with new treatments for untreatable diseases.